would also like to welcome brother Joseph sir here to this uh, digital classroom, to this digital floor. And I would also like to welcome my team members, uh, my teammates, Dinesh Chetri sir and Isneha Tuladar ma'am uh, to this competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, lastly, I would like to welcome all my dear students to this uh, drawing competition. And uh, this activity that you are showing is absolutely awesome. Uh, so keep on this spirit going on. And today we'll be having the drawing competition. And the final of the drawing competition will also be announced today. So the top 20 students, I think Ramba Ma'am has already announced the top 20 students. And the, today will be the final of this drawing competition. <laughs> And here we are in the ISA project number two. ISA is the International School Award. And to talk about more about ISA, I would like to call the teammate of ISA project number two, Mrs. Isneha Tuladar Pandey, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. OK, good afternoon, everyone. Respected Father Robi, Robin sir our ISA coordinator and teachers who are present in this program and all of my dear students of class six. So uh, all of you know about uh, International School Award uh, and the program related to it is going on yes, regularly and you are having a lot of project work related to it. So you might have experienced yourself that what is ISA because uh, now you are experiencing something else and how it has you know improved your studies also so this international school award uh, just accomplish the student along with learning in practical so something you are learning in practical nowadays uh, though we are far you know we are having this virtual classroom but uh, we are having more you know more activity to do at home and that is all the result of this international school award isa so which we are uh, conducting, yes. So we just uh, can hope with the help of our students, I mean to say with the uh, hard work, with the dedication of our students, we will surely we will be having this International School Award that is a uh, very prestigious, yes. So here is a platform where you can learn practically, you can learn about other cultures, yes, where you can practice something you know, more in details, you are going to learn about in details. So that is the ISC platform. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, ma'am. Ma Thank you so much, Sneha, okay. ma'am, for providing us a short description about the ISC and the programs that we are conducting here as the ISC project number two. And uh, being the ISA project number two here, uh, we have conducted so many different programs. And this is the subject wise competition of social, that is the drawing competition that we are going to held today. And you can see the digital classroom in the slide. What does the digital classroom exactly mean? So what I want to uh, describe you about the digital classroom is that a digital classroom it doesn't mean that whatever we are learning now is not only the digital classroom, right? Uh, we were learning digitally. We, uh, the classroom that we were learning in our school also in LFS there was the smart class, right? So from smart class also you we used to present different videos, we used to present different uh, slides and different images. So that was also the part of the digital classroom, and which is one of the very effective measures in the uh, in this uh, classroom uh, for any sort of educational institution digital classroom and the way of the presentation digitally is the best and effective measures uh, up to now um, according to the survey also digital classroom has been the very effective method so that's why this uh, COVID-19 has provided us opportunity to know more about the digital techniques technologies as well as the internet and different other facilities that we are getting right so most of the students before uh, they were just uh, confined to the teacher whatever the sources uh, whatever the resources that the teacher would be providing that was only the thing the student have got but now now you can see there is the vast changes in the uh, technology and how the students are gaining the knowledge so even you people even you are also being able to use the technologies even you are also being able to use the internet and go through the google chrome and search in google right so this is because of the opportunity that we got during this covid 
kind of situation and not only in, in uh, during this pandemic situation only but we are um, we are very much um, obliged that we got this opportunity uh, that internet facilities and different other technological facilities are available nowadays so that uh, it's been very easy for us to know about the new things right to know about to learn about the new things new technologies that's why digital classroom is not confined to only the resources that, that is given by the teacher but also you can also um, go for it you can also learn something new in the google and different other resources that you have so today uh, without any further delay now i would like to welcome uh, the host for today's program uh, ramba achare ma'am to conduct the further program ramba okay. ma'am okay thank you srijana ma'am so i'll be showing you my this uh, screen <clears throat> so welcome to the social project drawing competition topic is digital classroom so i'll be i will be showing one by one your uh, project drawing so <clears throat> as soon as you see your name so you have to speak about uh your project work so i'm going to start first one is ma'am your presentation is not seen ma'am okay <laughs> now is it visible Yes no ma'am good test uh it's okay ma'am i think i can uh, present it no problem okay now i think it's visible uh, right uh sridhar ma'am wait wait hey okay okay, okay. opening now is it visible yes teacher yes teacher okay yes teacher so fourth one gorab dhakal yes teacher so you have to speak about your project okay teacher hello everyone i am gorab nagar from class 60 and i am going to tell about project of of social that is digital classroom and digital classroom refers to a classroom that is fully immersed in technology or digital classroom is a where a physical classroom extends into a digital space the space of a digital classroom must hold potential for collaboration or continuing work outside of the classroom reflective decision prompts online can be a good way to address this in a digital classroom the tone is set by technology because technology facility is it is access to learning resources and network it's easier for students to track their progress and for professors to highlight student work in a digital classroom that's all for today thank you okay thank you gaurav now next one rebika silwal Rebecca Silwal Rebecca Silwal Okay then I'm uh, moving to next one Angel Gautam Yes teacher Okay now your turn Good afternoon everyone. Today is Mr. Gautam from class 6 to describe about from class 
from little flower school to describe about my project of social so in this project i have described our digital classroom so digital classroom is typically one typically one that incorporates electronic device and software into the learning environment a digital classroom is where a physical classroom extends into a digital space the space of a digital classroom has whole potential for collaboration or co continuing work outside of the classroom reflective discussion forums online can be a good way to address this in a digital classroom the tone is set by technology because technology facilities easy access to learning resource and networks is easier for students to track their progress for the for professors to highlight student work in a digital classroom so we know about a digital classroom which is fully immersed in technology the these classrooms rely on educational apps and websites to enhance student learning back loops and technologies are also important parts of a digital classroom feedback feedback the their feedback based on student lesson group and more technology is the most is the most visible part of this type of classroom in compass hardware software operating system and social media channel thank you okay thank you anjan gautam now mohoday Hello everyone. Today is me, Mother Bondari, going to do a short explanation on the topic digital classroom. Or a digital classroom is a course conducted over the internet. The students use computers or mobile phones to communicate with the teachers using internet. They are generally conducted and communicated with through a learning management system in which students can view their course syllabus and academic progress and with their course instructor. It has e-learning experience that is more productivity to it than physical class with the increased availability of the internet and computer technology. students are able to access information anytime and any place that would normally be available through digital classroom some examples of digital classroom platforms are google classroom zoom education microsoft teams seesaw photomat etc some examples of virtual meeting classroom which are used in behalf of digital classroom are google meet zoom facetime microsoft meeting slack adobe contact etc thank you Okay, thank you, Madhai. Now, Manjil Neopani. Yeah, it is a good afternoon. Good good afternoon, everyone. Today it's me, Manjil Neopani, from class six, and today I am going to describe about my project of social. The topic is digital classroom. A digital classroom is typically one that incorporates uh, electronic uh, devices and software into the learning environment. A digital classroom refers to a classroom that is fully impressed in technology. Uh, the, these classrooms rely on education apps such as Google Meet, etc., and a website to uh, enhance uh, students' uh, learning. Digital classroom is a classroom uh, in which uh, that is fully impressed in technology. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Madhu. सुरंगना गुरु सुरंगना आपसे Anjit Lami Chane. Yes, teacher. Okay, your turn. Good afternoon, everyone. Today it's me, Anjit Lami Chane, and here I am here to tell you something about my project work uh, about digital classroom. A digital classroom refers to a classroom that is fuller, fully immersed in te uh, immersed in technology. This classroom really on education apps such as. So apps and website to enhance student learning feedbacks and loops and technology as important and part of our digital classroom. Mm. 
in digital classroom is is very important for us because in this corona time we can sit in our home and and learn online because it is possible only because of digital classroom if there was no digital classroom we are not able to study online online from online medias and website different different website thank you okay thank you anjit aliza stressed her lisa stressed her lisa snehal sapkota snehal sapkota nehal dipsan pokhrel dipsan pokhrel dipsan ajas koirala yes teacher okay your turn good morning everyone it's me ojesh koirala from class 6 and today i am going to tell you about my social project called a digital classroom is typically one that incorporates electronic devices and software into the learning environment a digital classroom refers to a classroom that is fully immersed in technology these classrooms rely on educational apps and websites to enhance student learning students using digital learning tools and technology become more engaged in the in the process and more interested in the growing they are in growing their knowledge base they may even not realize that they are actively learning since they are learning through engaging methods such as peer education teamwork problem solving reverse teaching concept maps game gamification staging role playing and storytelling there are so many benefits when it comes to transport transforming a classroom into digital classroom when one of the greatest advantages of going digital is that the possibility of what we can do are endless there are so many different websites extension and apps that teacher can use to enhance their teaching and connect with the student digital digital classroom prepare students for life in college and the real world by providing them with a technology based education though digital classroom has many advantages but it has also some disadvantages in digital learning it becomes difficult to find out whether the students are being attentive and understanding the contents the classroom may be less interactive than the physical learning we have to spend more times in mobiles and computers which may be harmful to our eyes thank you okay thank you others now vasu just yes, teacher your turn good afternoon to everyone my name is asad abba from grade 6 today i am going to explain about the digital classroom a digital classroom is typically one that incorporates electronic devices and software into the learning environment a digital classroom is where a physical classroom extends into a digital space the space of a digital classroom must hold potential for collaboration or continuing work outside of the classroom reflective discussion from online can be a good way to address this its technology facilities easy access to learning resources and networks it easier for students to track their progress and for processor to highlight student work in digital classroom at last i would like to thank my teacher to give me opportunity to explain about digital classroom thank you okay thank you vasu now om agarwal yes teacher your turn Today it's me Om Agrawal. I am going to tell some things about the digital classroom. The digital classroom is a technology-enabled learning environment where students' learning and interaction with the teacher and peers is fully supported through strategic use of information and communication technology (ITC). A digital classroom is a classroom that is fully immersed in technology. Each student has access to internet connect. device whether it be a laptop tablet chromebook or other device and the majority of or all the curriculum is delivered via an online 
engaging interactive platform our students are a part of new generation a new generation that is constantly connected and surrounded with the technology and so it only makes sense of fully incorporate technology into the teaching practices as educator we are the ones who need to involve and adapt our teaching particles thank you okay thank you now aishma podel a oh, sorry chris chandra khanal yes teacher uh, now your turn uh, good morning our respected father robin good morning our respected father robin teachers and and my dear friends i'm chris from grade 6 and today i am talking about benefits of digital learning we have come a long way since the time our grandparents got our just to get to school now we all are learning from our home so learning on digital platform is the first topic for many today simply put digital learning means learning using, using electronic media especially digital platform is very essential to counter the negative effect of covid-19 and still keep learning let me first start with obvious benefit of digital learning on digital platform i think it redefined the meaning of teaching and learning in past decades learning only meant books and boring lectures while now learning has has become more interactive and fun with all the audio visuals both in the physical and online classroom another important aspect of it is productivity expand our interest and hobbies on different field since everything is available on internet be it cooking painting reading learning instruments etc with shift of classroom from school to home what i found is that i have a lot of time in my hand than before so i can be since i'm not fit to one touch schedule online classes also to student to be self discipline and self accountable as we are also achieving something our ourselves make us more motivated or the parents can see how the children are learning we feel the power with there are still some student who are far away from the school and have very limited access to textbooks on time many would argue that digital learning has made many students lazy and is unproductive but i think prof learning as the ability of digitalization to make everything interesting if you just responsibility to the fullest digital platform helps us to give opportunity for us by ourselves and make any dream in this world achievable so it won't be an exaggeration to say that simple google search away thank you okay thank you grace Aishwarya Kumar. Good afternoon, everyone. Today it's me, Aishwarya Kumar from Class Six, to deliver a short speech on my presentation. Let's begin. An online class is a course conducted over the internet. They they are generally conducted through a learning management system in which students can view their course syllabus and uh, and their tasks. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected affect various uh, various um, various aspects of normal life, including going to the school. Currently, conducting online class is the way out to keeping important knowledge. It involves the use of digital service to create a virtual classroom. The teacher and students sign in into communication app and sit in front of their device. Online education is a type of distance learning which allows students and teacher to insert outside of the classroom. Technological, uh, technological and app. expanded online education into widely used method of instruction or offering continuous uh, learning opportunity to the students on the development area online education has many benefit as well as changing rising popularity has caused cts to question the value and success of distance learning although online education has its cts there are many benefit one major benefit 
it is affordable affordability thank you thank you ashwarya ashwarya aisma podel aisma podel aisma tejas tejas agarwal yes teacher okay now your turn good afternoon to one and all present here today it's me tejas sagrawal a student of rajya class school from class 6 to present to all my project work of social which was assigned us to our, from our social teacher mrs ramba acharya the task assigned to us was to do the sketch of digital classroom and describe in brief about digital classroom the digital classroom refers to the uh, class a digital classroom refers to the classroom that is fully immersed in technology it is a great tool that allows teacher to deliver rich content lessons to students make announcement to the class share google calendars with the students and facilitate work through the various google apps through the with the use of google drive and since google makes it easy for the user to switch from one account to another it uh, it is that most more convenient in this pandemic situation this the classroom has been a blessing to us students thank you okay thank you uh, uh, tejas welcome teacher now we go to the Ritik Podel Ritik Podel Fabia Fabia Patwari Yes teacher So you are done Good afternoon to my respected teacher and warm greeting to all my friends present over here. I am Bhavya Patwari from Grade Six from Little Flower School, Nepal. Today, I am going to explain my social project work, which is on the topic digital classroom. First of all, let me define the term digital classroom. Or digital classroom is typically one that incorporates elect electronic device and softwares into the uh, learning environment. a uh, digital classroom is a way a uh, physical classroom extends into a digital space digital classroom prepares student for life in a school and the real world by providing them with a technology based education in a digital classroom the tone is set by technology because technology facilities easy access to um, uh, learning resources the network its easier to student to track their progress and for teachers to highlight student work in a digital classroom in my opinion one of the greatest advantage to going digital is that the possibilities of what you can do are in thank you okay thank you radhika so all these are the top 20 students they are drawing So all of you you have uh, most of you you have submitted your project work on time and it was very difficult for me to choose the best one so among the top uh, top 20 students again i have to select best 5 so i will be showing again this best 5 so one is babia second one is ritik podel third one is tejas for aisma podel then aishwarya kuwar so these are the best 5 i have selected so looking at their neatness how perfectly they have drawn their coloring neatness everything i have seen and these are the five best ones thank you teacher again I, i will be showing so all of you you must see how you have to do your drawing you have to do neatly 
then coloring everything you have to do perfectly so this aishurya ayushma uh, ayushma <coughs> then tejas so neat and clean drawing margin also straight everything so here also this is very neatly drawn so bhavya <coughs> this one also very neat and clean very clear everything it is clearly seen coloring also margin also so these are the five best ones that i have selected among the top 20 excuse me teacher yes teacher i thought i have sent my project but but when i uh, saw uh, at morning no it was i at uh, at as the uh, i add the attachment but i forgot to turn it on so that is your mistake you have to submit on time okay srijana ma'am uh, yes ma'am so congratulations to all the students and uh, i'm very much happy to see all the beautiful drawings uh, beautiful art that you have drawn here i'm very very happy to see and uh, it's not only that uh, to get the position is not only enough okay uh, being participated in such type of program in such type of isa projects uh, will be declared as a very active students and you'll be getting certification also and different other awards also so it's not only that uh, uh, they they are getting the prizes and all no it's not like that okay you have participated you have improved and you saw no how you have to improve on next competition right so you saw it right how the how the winners have done it so you try to improve yourself it's the time to improve yourself so i request all the student to make a necessary improvement on yourself and whatever you can do just try to improve uh, about you okay uh, okay with this now i would like to um, now i would like to invite the isc coordinator of little flower school narangarh uh, respected robin sir robin sir Robin sir are here Okay finally uh, I think there may be some technical issues with the um Robin sir's Okay and now I would like to call uh Okay I, we are at the end of the program so now I would like to call the principal of little flower school narangarh reverend father ravi for addressing all of us father father are you there all right uh, so i think uh, there may be some issues all right with this i would like to thank each and every one of you and uh, participate very nicely participate uh, in all such a competition that will be held and uh, continuously we are having the competition right so you participate in that also and try to learn more try to improve yourself with this i would like to thank our host uh rambam acharya ma'am for uh, wonderfully hosting the program and as well as all my teammates and all the students of class 6 as well as the parents of class 6 also and uh, there will be the link provided to you so you can share it also and you can also check what you need to improve okay okay student thank you so much thank you so much everyone bye 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 teacher Bye bye teacher. Bye bye teacher. Bye teacher. Bye 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 bye.